Hi there, my name is Remy Sharp and this is a short uh, tutorial to show you how to use uh, Slight in your projects. So Slight is a CLI light framework that gives you um, a bunch of features that I found I kept having to rewrite every time I wrote a CLI tool. Um, so in particular things like um, you'll get dash V, dash version for free, it'll check um, if you use semantic release it will use the um, uh, the version in the package if the user is installed, but if you're developing, um, you'll get things like this, like um, I use it for developing with Sneak. Um, it'll show you the, the development, the branch you're developing on and the commit hash. And I'll show you if you have any dirty files or anything like that, um, which is really useful for development for me. It makes help files very easy, read standard in by default, um, update notifier is included, um, which means that if you push a new version to NPM, um, your users get notified automatically that there is a new version of your tool out there. Um, so there's a bunch of other things. It uses promises to kind of move around, and I'll show you that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to create a uh, CLI tool that will scrape HTML based on a selector that you give it. So um, I'm going to initialize this project um, with an empty uh, npm uh, uh, package, and then I'm going to install um, uh, install dash save slight and Cheerio, which will do our HTML scraping. So the idea here is that um, I will pipe uh, the contents of the HTML from a, a curl directly into this tool, and it will um, it'll uh, scrape out the selector that I give it. So if I want to see all the LIs um, on this page, for instance, so. Um, we have an empty directory with the package, that's good, but we need a bit more. Um, typically with these projects, I tend to make um, a lib directory, a CLI directory, which holds kind of the binary stuff, the binary type files, and um, test. And by binary, I mean the things that get executed um, in bash or whatever um, shell you're using. And a test directory, which will have all my unit tests and integration tests and so on. I'm not going to do tests for this. Um, and in there, I also want to make an index file in lib and CLI. Um, lib is where my code will live. CLI will be um, uh, will actually just contain uh, just a little bit of code that uses slight. So, in particular, the hash bang um, or the shebang. Um, so, in here, I'm just going to paste uh, the default block of code. I don't actually need a config. I'm going to show you that a little bit later. Um, so I'm literally requiring slight and I'm calling slight. I'm going to save that um, and I need to make a small change to my package um, for two things. One, the main entry point isn't index.html, it's lib index.html, uh, index.js, sorry. Um, and the second thing is we need to add a, um, uh, a bin um, that tells npm when you install this, uh, where if they install it globally, where it, what the shortcut should be. So we're going to call it scrape. Um, and that's going to point to CLI index.js and that's our package um, so I'm just going to quickly do npm link oh, yep so this all means that I can actually run my command scrape okay um, it doesn't do anything at this moment because our limb index is empty um, when it runs it will automatically run this index file because I haven't given it a config so it will just look for the default so I'm going to do module.exports equals function and I'm going to return okay all right and if I run scrape, it prints OK. Pretty simple. Um, and we get args, settings, and body passed in. And the documentation talks about what each of those are. Um, but if I um, cause an error like uh, Remy call a function that doesn't exist, um, the uh, slide will pick this up and uh, throw the error, but also um, give you a non-zero exit uh, status. And if you want to uh, debug it a little bit, you can do debug equals slight, and you'll get the full stack trace and see what's scraped and, and so on, where it found the package and so on. So that's the stack trace for that error. Um, right, what we're going to do is scrape uh, some HTML. So I'm going to do var cheerio equals require cheerio. And um, I am also going to see, I'm going to do var query. So the idea is I'm going to call scrape um, with like li.active or something like that, some CSS query, some CSS expression. Um, so we're going to do args. Um, or in fact, let's dump out args so you can see what it looks like. Um, return args so you can actually see what that looked like. Scrape li. Um, and any kind of 
the free argument you pass in will be in the underscore property, um, and there are options to set up um, properties and booleans and option uh, options and commands and so on. Um, so the default command that's picked up here is is dot, which means just run the default um, script. Um, help and version are in there by default. Um, and if I do scrape dash v, it'll give me a version number, which is right from the package. Um, so in this case, I want to do um, var query equals args underscore dot shift, right? And um, I want to do var ch uh, no, uh, dollar equals cheerio dot load body. And I'm going to do a query off that. So I'm just going to return OK at this point. Um, so let's see what we get. So we get an exception at this point because we don't have any body. Um, so we need to grab that as well. Um, and we also need to check if we had a query. So if not query, uh, throw new error uh, query required. And we do if not body. Uh, throw new error uh, please pipe HTML to scrape okay so let's try that again um, and we get the error uh, obviously it can be better than that but we actually get the error back um, and uh, what we're going to do is probably just curl that curl uh, dash s so it's quiet and I'm going to pipe it straight into scrape and let's see what happens. Yep, so it succeeds, like it's getting as far as okay. Um, and here, all I'm gonna do is um, use this dollar function to run the query. So it's basically running a selector we pass in on the uh, the HTML we loaded in. And I'm gonna call a map, and uh, we're gonna get the index and the element. And what we need to do is get the HTML out. So I'm gonna return uh, L, oops, HTML. Uh, so Cheerio has this kind of syntax to say, get me the outer HTML of an element using this. And because it's jQuery-like, I have to do your get, and I'm gonna do join, I'm gonna join by new line, um, and I'm gonna return that. So let's try that again. And here you can see it scraped every one of the LIs. Okay, now the cool thing about this is that I can now pipe to scrape again, if I can spell it, and I can um, run this, the expression again, uh, just search for the anchors basically. So here we can see uh, all the anchors and I should be able to, uh, if I, I could get rid of the new lines, um, replace uh, new line G. So get rid of the new lines, we'll actually have one result per line and we can do a count of that. So I can tell you that there are uh, whatever, 57 links inside of uh, anchors, uh, links inside of LIs on that page, um, and you know, do more with it. And obviously, I can extend this by saying, okay, if there's no body, maybe we can read from standard in to look for a file name. Um, query could be um, an option like dash q. Um, we get help for free as well. So if I if I just include require um, uh, config and uh, create config file module.exports equals I'm going to do help and uh, usage.txt I create a usage file um, config.js create usage file uh, usage uh, cat file.html scrape selector and the file paths are relative to the package.json, so um, I'm going to put it directly into the root of this project, but you could have a docs or help directory. And now if I run uh, scrape-h, we get the usage back. So um, that's slight. It's all on um, GitHub as well. Um, it has lots of tests, which is nice for my code. Um, give it a try, let me know what you think, if it's useful for your CLI tools. Otherwise, thanks for watching.